so after what it's been two or three years since these things have come out i've finally bought the moon swatch i'm gonna walk you through why i know there are a ton of reviews already out there so i'm not gonna do like super in depth but i just want to show you a little more of the watch and why i thought that getting one now was the best time to do it so here's the box this is the mission to mercury it's cool it comes with just some like general facts about mercury Where's the other side here? There's some even more information. It's hard to see because it's kind of dark on dark, but each box is personalized to the watch you're getting itself. And then just Mission Mercury Bio Ceramic Moon Swatch Collection. So now I'm going to pop it out of the box. I'm going to show, well, let me actually slide it out here and I'll show you how it opens. The back of the box does show you all of the other models. You get the Omega Moon Swatch logo there on the inside, and then it just pops out. Let's open it this way. And then you pop it open, and you got your Moon Swatch. There it is, the Mercury. You got a booklet here that shows you all of the other Moon Swatches and their colors and their names. And you got an instruction booklet there, nice and simple. And it does also have a little warranty card just in case you need to claim it for any reason. I, I don't think that Swatch is really repairing these. They may just give you a new one from what I've heard, but you do have a warranty card. But let's take a closer dive into this watch now. And let me just tell you a little bit more about why I decided to get it. So first off, the reason I went with Mercury was because if I ever add, not if, but when I add a actual moon watch to my collection, I don't want this one to technically be redundant and not wearable. So I didn't want to get the colors exactly the same. I know the dials, the sub dials are in slightly different positions on the moon swatch. So they're not the exact same watch, but it just didn't feel right to go black typical moon watch looking watch so I, I didn't do that the bracelet or whatever this is you want to call it the, the strap they're not great I will likely replace this I'm also going to try a little tip that I read on the internet later to show you how to make these work a little bit better so to stay tuned to the end of the video to see that but I do like the little branded Omega logo there it the watch is I understand that some people were disappointed in the beginning because their glorified plastic bioceramic is just plastic. Sure, I get that. I'm not going to dive into the specifications and sizes because this, you know, watch has been out for so long. You don't really need a detailed review here. I'm not disappointed in any of that. I understood what I was getting and let me that I guess transition there into why I bought it. I was very reluctant to buy this watch. I had no real interest to buy this in the beginning and then month after month day after day I would see people on the streets wear them or at watch events and there was a part of me that was always being eaten alive by the fact that I didn't have one and that someday they may stop being produced and I may regret that and I do think this is a really cool piece of horological history because this is a small brand and a large brand pairing together I know Omega and Swatch are the same parent company but and they've done this a few times since now with Blancpain and I, I just still love the concept of what they did here and made a really cool iconic watch accessible for a whole different group of people by lowering the price point. And yeah, 270 US dollars is a lot for this watch. I'll show you some of the gripes I have with that price point shortly. But I did go in trying to find the Snoopy one, the white new one that they came out with. Uh, that was the gold, and that one was $310. So even more to get a slightly limited edition. But I do like that they are also rolling out nice limited edition watches, which is really keeping this thing alive, I think. You got that little Mission to Mercury there on the back too. But let me, let me just show you one of the reasons I think it... The price is a little high and what I wish they would have done better. I guess the one real main gripe is the packaging for me. I like the design of the box, but this thing is like glorified Chinese takeout. You know, this this is just cardboard in here. It slides out, it's kind of all attached, but this is just cardboard. There's nothing to the presentation of this box that seems collectible, long-term storage, anything that would make this a real collecting piece. And it's kind of unfortunate because you do see much nicer boxes on much cheaper price point watches, especially some of the other swatches I've bought have had nicer presentation or a nicer storage, you know, option. 
I don't understand why they went with such a cheap box for something that they were trying to make something so much of the flagship of their brand at the moment. That being said, that's not why I bought it. I knew that coming into it. When I got it and felt it, it was a little bit shocking just to be like, oh wow, yeah, that is really cheap feeling. But I'm cool with that and I'm not gonna use it as a reason not to buy this watch. Just know beforehand if you're still looking to buy one of these, it's not a real nice collector situation. It is just kind of a hard, layered, kind of glossy cardboard. The next thing is kind of how it wears. I don't love this strap design. I obviously knew what it was before I got it and it, ideally I'm going to replace the Velcro strap that this thing came with. But it is shocking that this is what they put on this watch and gave you nothing else that comes with it. It is interesting because it kind of has a preset it folds really nice and easily at like a tighter point for me, which is too tight. And to, to get it to sit where I want it, you really kind of have to like force the crease into the watch. I don't mind the color. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels like it's fairly nicely made. You do have Velcro all around the side though, which is gonna attract so much dirt and dust, but I just don't love it. And I am gonna see if there's a way to slightly fix that. And I'm gonna show you that shortly, but those are my two big zonks. Everything else I love about this watch. The face is gorgeous. The details are what I want them to be. Those The markers around the outside of the watch are this nice aged kind of white color. And I think it's just really well done. And I'm, I do absolutely love this. It's what I wanted. I love the, the, let me go back close up here. Even just the snap back. It's satisfying, it's nice. If you're still kind of on the fence about the Moon Swatch, I think it's cool. And I think you should have one in your collection. But now let's try that little trick I was talking about. All right, so if you notice anything different here, I've now flipped the position of the strap. So this was down here and the six o'clock moved up to the 12 o'clock. And that should ideally help this thing now sit a little nicer on the wrist and it will move the chunky part to the part you the of your wrist that you don't see. So let's uh, let throw this off camera for a second. All right, so what do you think? I actually think that's a lot nicer. You know, you do still have the chunkiness of it, but you do move it out of your eyesight, which I think is nice. And the logos aren't backwards. You just don't have the Omega on your wrist side anymore. It is now Swatch. It's definitely how I'm gonna wear it until I get the new strap. And I recommend if you aren't happy with yours currently because of that bulge that would sit over here, flip it around. Cause that's actually a really, really cool trick. All in all, I am really, really happy to finally have a Moon Swatch, and I hope you guys, if you're looking for them still and you want one, go pull the trigger on it. I didn't have to wait online to get it. I just walked in fairly early in the day and they had everything except the new limited edition one. So go out, try to get yourself a Moon Swatch. If you like it, wear it, enjoy it, but grab one. These are really, really cool in my opinion, and I think they're still worth the money to have in your collection, even though they are a $300 plastic watch. There I said it. I got one. I'm happy. I love it. Get a moon swatch, people.